All right, everybody, I'm here. We're live. My green screen doesn't look extra stupid, even though it might. It's been doing that lately. Let's check out the game options, shall we? Camera auto avoid. Borderless. FPS limits 144. Everything on Ultra, I like. Let's turn Motion Blur and V-Sync off, though. Controls. I'll figure this out while we play. My god, we have save slots. It's like an old game. Hermes Fortress. Hermes Kingdom, the land of alchemy. It's said that the alchemy employed here transforms diseases into antidotes. The people of Hermes were protected by this mystical art, and the kingdom became one of the most powerful nations on the continent. In the beginning, people thought it was just another infectious disease. Does this game not have voice acting? I guess not. It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrieking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. Various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and ghastly creatures, but their efforts were futile and despair engulfed the entire continent. Hermes Kingdom, founded atop a colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of a miraculous alchemical science, which was unable, which was able to turn the plague into a cure. Hermes Kingdom. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on this alchemy to light the blessed flame. Where there is light, there will always be shadow. Dot, dot, dot. Or as it's called, an ellipses. If you use an ellipses in casual conversation, I fucking hate you. Use Waz to move Corvus and left shit to left shit left shift to sprint. Oh, what's up, Mare? How are you? What do you mean you get sick when you eat breakfast? I'm so sorry. Use left, right to oh, use mouse and eat interact. Use escape to open the pause menu. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Okay, now the game is smooth. E to interact. Crumple that piece of paper. Follow the commands and search for the cores. Wow, this game is very, uh... Blunt. Shall we say. Administrative order. Due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. All citizens are forbidden from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the knights. Any settings of plague-like symptoms or mutations must be immediately reported to the knights to be dealt with. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration and purification effective date immediately. I think it's eggs, honestly, which sucks because I love eggs. But last time I had eggs, I threw up after five minutes. Now, anytime I eat eggs, I feel queasy. I think I've developed some sort of egg allergy. Have you actually been tested for allergies? I mean, the last time you had eggs, could they have been bad eggs? Saber attack wounds and execution. Use left click to perform a saber attack. Space to dodge. Saber attacks deal damage to the enemy and leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period if no more damage is inflicted. When an enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach the dazed enemy and use left click to execute them. Okay, so his green bar are his wounds. I have. I got my back all pricked, but that was ages ago when I was really sick. I don't know if I've developed allergy sense or maybe just an egg intolerance. Hmm. Oh, we got some corpses here. Well, look on the bright side. You no longer have to bother with cooking eggs. Okay, so what do I got here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's a three-hit combo. Can't charge it up or right click yet. Scrambled eggies always sound so good and then I eat them and regret everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Scrambled eggs are pretty good. Deviled eggs, deviled eggs, doubled eggs? I have no idea how you pronounce it, but those are pretty good. Anyway, let's talk more about food you're not allowed to eat. How was your day? The 
Deflect. Use F just before the enemy's attack hits Corvus to deflect it. Deflecting enemy attack causes the enemy... Damages the enemy and negates any damage to Corvus. Oh, she's upset. And she's gonna take it out on me. Boring. I woke up expecting to do schoolwork all day just to realize there's no school and it's not like I can go anywhere. Yeah. Did you at least go to... to... what? Uh, Dutch Bros? Paper on the ground, zero one. A deadly silence hangs over the streets and the city's completely sealed off. There's no food to be found nor any water. Okay, so his sword is his attack and his dagger is his parry. It's the same one we already read. And I glow. I have a light on me somehow. I can't believe I did that. That's like when I was in the process of getting my passport. I showed up to my appointment a whole week early. I mean, it's better to be early than late, right? Imagine if you were a week late to your classes. Then you'd feel real bad. Oh, you can lock on. Fuckers. Hmm. Like, I planned on being early for work today, and my body was like, no, go back to sleep. You are the devourer. Wield your claws. Tear apart the cursed bodies. Claw attack. Oh, shit. What? Press right click to perform a claw attack. Did I kill him? Changing a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon, and Corvus can reave this for his own use. Yo, Pants, thanks for the 100. One small treat for the star of the stream. You got it. Hey, wait a minute. The star. Hold on. Hold right click to fully charge Corvus's claw and release to reave a plague weapon. Reave deals even more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. I think I just outright killed him. Oh. So many tutorials, holy moly. I mean, this isn't that bad. They're really short. You bad guy, you're okay, hold on. I just started it, pants. I'm still in the tutorial. Casting a reaved plague weapon. Use two to cast a reaved plague weapon. It can only be used once. Okay, so that's the axe in the lower right corner. Kaya! Someone bought something for you. Okay, nobody attack and kill me. I know, but in comparison to Bloodborne, that's like, good luck! I know, right? Bloodborne was like, <laughs> Welcome to the dream! Come this way, Sylvie. Yeah, right on key. One tree left in this. He snorted! I go wash my hands. 
have giant wolf when you just woke up and have no weapons i should have submitted my bloodborne run the other day beat the whole thing in 48 minutes what do you mean you beat it in 48 minutes falcom also welcome to stream buddy how's it going are you speed running that game now also let me know if i need to turn this game up chat oh fuck I was trying just for fun. I've beat it probably 30 or so times. Nice. Uh, well, I just missed whatever was... Okay, here we go. The King's Dagger and the Grey Armor. They are our last hope. They led the survivors and tried to make things right. The infected corpses were burned to purify them of sickness. Bye, Kaya. She said I'm out. Okay. Well, as soon as you guys, you know, send out the call... Use Potion. Only 150 health? Okay, so the white bar is my health. Wow, that fence went to the fucking moon. Dude, congrats though, Falcom. I've never tried to speedrun a Souls game at all. Resting at a beacon, a bonfire, will save current progress, refill potions, and restore health and energy. Resting at a beacon will also resurrect most enemies. You know, they used to call these save points. <laughs> Light up. Who's this? Objective, search for the cores. Can you do fast bloodborne circles? Sort of. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. So I'm rapidly smacking wazed. Yeah, you can kind of do it. No, no, no. The little ghost girl picked up the lamp. Corvus isn't into butt stuff as far as I can tell. Yeah, my controller's not charged. I don't feel like dealing with it, Falcon. Feathers as lethal as iron arrows pierce their weakness. Critical attacks and feather attack when a green light appears before an enemy attack they will perform a critical attack that cannot be deflected instead corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack use left control to throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack just before the enemy's critical attack hits corvus Oh, fucking shit. What the fuck, man? Where's his green light? That was it. Did I steal your weapon, bro? I did. Check that out. Okay, you cannot spam your dodges in this. Oh shit. That didn't stop him. <laughs> Left control, that's gross. That's actually not that bad because my pinky is on shift anyway to sprint. So I just got to move it down real quick. Now I'm curious if I go over here and sleep at the chair. I don't think Corvus makes noise when he runs, dude. If I rest at the chair, does that guy come back? No, I don't seem to have a stamina bar. I don't know what the 150 down there is. So this is me dodging. 
I don't, maybe it's, there's no invincibility frames. How did this all begin? They said that an accident occurred one day of the king's birthday, on the day of the king's birthday. Previously, the plague was only spreading outside the kingdom, but after the outbreak, all have gone mad. God, Corvus's footsteps are so quiet. I'm gonna turn it up a little for you guys. Ooh, does this game open up? He must be Eileen's cousin. Uh. Yeah, I uh, I don't know his moves yet. That is a big boy. Schwann is making steaks tonight, and I am drooling. A real picture of me. Oh, that was probably supposed to happen, wasn't it? Oh, it's the little ghost girl. Ice to me. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need the right formula to use Hermes' answer. It appears that the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a description of what you still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. Thanks. I have amnesia? Dude, this bed is huge. Families of the Knightly Order petitioned the king to stop sending knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. The former chairman of the Institute for Alchemical Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with even greater abilities than herself to lead the alchemical research in Hermes. The Twilight Circus, hailing from the Sea of Trees, was once again invited to perform in the royal court. As expected, Ringmaster Odur's new performance was received with great acclaim from all who had attended. Oh shit, that healing thing they do is going to be annoying, right? Their wounds? Walk around to jog your memory. Why wouldn't I jog instead of walk? <laughs> jog around to walk your memory. Is that what you're trying to say? I do have experience points of some kind. But I think I need to be at one of those beacons to do anything about it. Map menu. Corvus can recall his memories by revisiting locations and quests in the map. Or memories and locations are unlocked when Corvus starts to remember. Okay, so this game has no voice acting. I did not know this. Philosopher's Hill is the royal family sanctuary. Every fall, father would take us here. He says that on the hill, he is not king, but merely a father and a friend. There's no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing, and our visits to this place grew less and less. Sea of Trees. In the early days of the plague, the nobles banished all criminals, the poor, and the sickly to a lower level of the kingdom known as the Sea of Trees. The upper rings of society living above the slum care nothing of their lives. They referred to them as the hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and all manner of ghastly creatures. One of my least favorite things about starting new games is learning new menus and leveling system. It gives me anxiety. Really? 
why because you think you're gonna level up and then turn it turns out you're not gonna enjoy the abilities you've picked for yourself it is the exhortation of former kings he who examines himself shall never be lost you know just coming off elden ring i really feel like i should be able to jump did I tell you I was getting a Souls-like tattoo officially? Pants, what? What are you getting? Mayor, I just get overwhelmed and trying to take in all the new info at once. So would you say you really like games that start slowly with tutorials? Or would you rather just be thrown in? What brings me the greatest joy is coming to Philosopher's Hill with the children every year. Watching them run about, playing together, never fails to help me forget the turmoil in the kingdom. Recently, some strange sickness has plagued the lands beyond our borders. I must make sure our kingdom is prepared. Well, don't worry, Mayor. You can just watch me do it instead. And then you'll have it all figured out if you decide to play the game. Dude, I bet you Returnal fucking gave you anxiety then. Do I pick up this parasite? Do I sacrifice my, my material or whatever for this? doohickey to cleanse the chest okay so I guess the map is like my level select okay so now I think I've started the game for real level up menu Corvus can use memory shards to enhance his attributes that's my money Returnal, I was like, fuck it, run and gun and hope for the best. You seem to learn very much by jumping both feet in, falling on your face, and getting back up and doing it again until you have it figured out. And I admire that kind of tenacity. I plan on getting my top three favorite bosses from different games. What are your top three favorite bosses? What are everyone's top three favorite souls bosses? Strength increases saber attack and wound damage. Vitality increases maximum health. Plague increases claw damage and maximum energy. Oh, good. You're in the Valley of Defilement. Oh, it does look like that, doesn't it? Well, okay, well, unlike a regular Souls game, you have three attributes. Wow, I can only afford a single level up right now. Let's just do Vitality so I die less and don't look like a scrub. Fuck the enemies there, I hated them. What, you didn't bring a fire weapon? Corvus can use talent points to learn new talents. Talents can be unlearned at any time. So experiment with different play styles. Form fast saber attacks up to five hit combo. What the fuck was that? How did he get up there? In air attack damage. Oh my God, he has the Makiri counter. Genshiro from Sekiro, Ornstein and Smog, and Gascoigne. Oh god, there's skill trees. What do you mean, oh god? It should be like, fuck yeah, there's skill trees! There are six skill trees. Holy shit. Okay, so it's for your main attack, your parry, your dodge, your claw, your feather, and strategies. I mean, it's good, but so much to take in. I was always panicking on what stuff to choose in God of War. <laughs> Brave Lord Nito, Aldric, the Moon Presence were my top choices. So you're going to get all those tattooed on you? Um, Lady Maria. I want to say Lady Maria and Abritas, both from Bloodborne. 
big old thigh piece. Nice. When are these tattoos going to happen? Oh, I can heal myself now when I execute an enemy. Nice. Collection of memories, level one, consumable. Use this item to acquire a small amount of memory shards. February 2023 is the date I have booked. I want a very specific artist and they booked way out. We all know you're fuck Orphan, bro. Listen, my favorite part about Orphan was when he fucking died, okay? Can I, am I supposed to get up here? Okay, there's no jump button. Do I need to buy the jump button? Bro, these enemies make almost no sound. told me I should get the mushroom people, but I like the jars better. How do I get that? Flame Lurker was pretty cool from Demon Souls. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I have a Demon Souls boss I really love. I'm already tired of reading notes. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, this is how I get back there. Okay. Penetrator. <laughs> Old King a lot. Dude, the penetrator was such a meme. Definitely Lady Maria and a Britas. Who else did I like? Who's my third favorite Souls boss? Probably something from Dark Souls 3. I love the bosses in Dark Souls 3, but I can't fucking name one. There's the Dancer. She's definitely not my... What the fuck are you? Did that do anything to you? Some pretty sick demon soul screenshots i should share in the discord dude photo game in that mode was pog do it mayor please hand axe skill shards what are these collect enough skill shards to unlock or upgrade plague weapons at the beacon hmm. fool's idol boss the fool's idol was was fucking awesome when you figured out what you got to do to beat her Dude, Gale. Slave Knight Gale, yep. I love Gale. Actually, even though the boss fight was super easy, Storm King boss was fucking dope. The fucking scale of him, the sounds he made was so sick. The big guttural sounds. The giant manta ray, you mean, in the sky? I would have to agree. This is how I get up there. Okay, so this whole level is talking about some kind of sick fucking circus that came to town and started kidnapping people. That's great. 
Um, Gail was awesome. The dancer was awesome. Oh, the, the prince, the twin, the twin princes, uh, Lothric and Larian. I fucking loved that fight, man. I loved the difficulty. I loved the way the different brothers fought. I loved the theme of it. I, I really like how the one brother is weak and feeble, so he's a magic user, and he has to ride around on his older brother's back. I just thought that was so fucking cool. What the fuck are these things? I really like Margaret's fight in Elden Ring. I had a lot of fun learning his moveset. Flame Lurker was a sick looking boss, but never want to fight that again. Flame Lurker's not that bad, especially if you're a magic build. These things are called sacred trees and they drive off the pestilence. That looks like death if I fall down there. Oh, this is the very beginning. I unlocked a shortcut. Elenia from Elden Ring was awesome after I beat her. Hated it during. You know, I feel strangely lukewarm about Melania. I, I, I hate saying that. But just, I was so over her just because people would not stop talking about her. And I felt like she was really cheap. The deer boss in Elden Ring. The deers were, the deers were all right. Those were the ones you fought by lighting all the lanterns, right? Yeah, people blew Millennia's difficulty way out of the water, man. What's up, Corinth? Oh, the ancestral spirits are really cool. Really pretty music, too. Yep. I felt bad fighting the ancestral spirits, the deers. While in the air. How do I get in the air? Oh, Corvus can perform a second dodge. Corvus can dodge twice, and the second dodge is longer. Oh. It was calling me music so different. I didn't feel bad, but fuck those horny assholes. <laughs> that is probably an offset sentence. Dash towards the enemy right before their critical attack hits to jump and interrupt it. I will fucking take the Makiri counter, bro. The hug is your play so far. I just started. A, oh, that's right. Enemies come back. I just started a little bit ago. It's all right. Uh, so far, dude, this is 100% about the combat. There is nothing else going on in this game. Like, what I mean is, like, there's barely any sound in this game. Like, you can barely hear the guy run. There's just, like, some kind of windy ambiance, but the game is nice looking. It's like a really, really good looking PlayStation 3 game. And I mean that in a good way. Every Souls game has the giant boss with the wind sword fight, Rikard and Elden. Rikard was the best version of that gimmick. I fucking hated that with um, Yorm the Giant. I wanted to fight Yorm. Jorm. Yorm, like, normally, and you just can't. Combat focus, not bad. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not complaining so far. Those death birds were things of nightmares. Yes, they were. I, dude, I freaked out when I realized there were night-only bosses in Elden Ring. Oh, 
Touché Okay, the combat's getting a little bit better. Screw the death bird, I hated those things. Corinth, did you finish Elden Ring? Negative. Ah yes, death birds, another boss that gets used 10,000 times. Hey, to be fair, you only fight seven of them, unlike the dragons that you fight 25 fucking times. The three boss fight at the end of Elden Ring? Isn't it a two boss fight? You talking about Radagon and the Elden Beast? Nice, Corinth. It took, I think it took me a hundred times to beat. Seven too fucking many make the game smaller. Are you gonna beat it this time, Mayor? That looks like I should be able to break that. I think it deserves my time, I will. Todd Howard. Thought at the end, the second one you had to beat twice, or maybe there was a boss before them that I'm lumping in together. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a boss fight that guards the final boss fight that I think is um the stupid golden princely guy, Godfrey or whatever. But he's not a part of that fight. He's his own battle. It's been kind of interesting so far with me going with the bleed dagger setup, and I think my partner's focusing more with ranged fighting. Did you just call me Todd Howard? Isn't that the... Isn't that... Is that not Todd Howard and that emo, the black and white little emo, or am I confusing him with someone else? You thought Godfrey was easy? I thought he was a fucking asshole. Because he has AoE that just hit everything. good at this game. Can't be stopped. Back up and explore for a second. Can I get like a proper cape with feathers? Uh That hurts. That's the Kappa emo. Oh, I completely fucked that. I'm sorry. Him and Melania, you killed on your second try. Was that your all magic playthrough? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The fuck? Aha! Uh -huh. I gotta get the giant zit to get rid of the toxic cloud. Ooh, look at those statues. Those look fucking cool, dude. Why do you refuse to use magic, Corinth? Are you that much of a purist? Magic OP. Is it still OP? Didn't they just release their uh, latest big patch of uh, changes? It's of how overpowered it is. I assume you have PvP turned off then. That attack did fuck all to you. Oh, ow. Okay, his kick hurts. 
Come on, hit me. I'm right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, wrong shit. Fuck, I was supposed to dodge into that one. That fucking killed him? Plague weapon menu. Corvus can use skill shards obtained from fallen enemies to unlock or upgrade plague weapons. What? Okay, hold on. I gotta go back to the level up thing. PvP can't happen on my playthrough since we're using seamless co-op. That's really nice, actually. I haven't played since I beat it. I haven't played since I beat it either. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, now I understand. So the enemy's green bar are their wounds, and my claw attack severely destroys their wounds. But my sword destroys their white bar, which is their regular HP. Oh shit, mother. How is Burb Souls? It's okay so far, mailman. The environments look really, really nice, and the combat is fast and fun. There's not a whole lot of audio going on, though. There's, like, there's some music. There's some ambiance, but it's very visual so far. HFW, game of the year over ER. I will die on this hill. It won't win because too much ER hype, but it deserves it far more. Horizon Forbidden West. You know, Mayor, you keep telling me how great it is. Let me ask you this. As someone who thought the first Horizon game was okay, how much better and or different is Forbidden West? Because Grendel owns it, and I could borrow it from him. Ah, you can sprint up the ladders. This is good. What the fuck is that? What's up, Grendel? How are you? Oh. Even without playing Forbidden West, I would say it definitely deserves it versus Elden Ring. This isn't Hunt. Does it say Hunt? Beacon found. Okay, level up. Uh, I mean, I'm killing... You know what? If, if Plague does more claw damage, let's fucking do that. And then let's do Vitality again, so we die less. TMI.twitch.tv What the fuck? Is that a bot? You've been playing a lot of Haunt. I'm good. Nah, Elden Ring deserves it. Is this a new game? Yes, Grendel, this is a new game called Thymesia. Mayor, I don't think I've ever played a game where almost every side quest was completely unique in terms of what you do and the characters. It was so diverse. How was your Monday? My Monday was very boring. I was at work and I barely got anything done. But it was okay, I guess. I, if that's as bad as my Monday gets, I'll take it. Let's get a second claw attack. Are you keeping up with your workouts? Maybe. I went to the gym yesterday. I don't think you would like Horizon if you don't like the first one, to be honest. Lance Reddick is in it, though, but he also... He's also in the first game, so if that didn't get you through, I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Grendel, maybe I could borrow Horizon Forbidden West sometime, and I'll give it a shot. Okay. Press Enter to unlock. Knife, hand axe. Oh, I can only do the hand axe. my plague weapon and then one is also my plague oh shit
me. Well, this guy looks cool. terrible at this I think I might need that double dodge I like the story of the first one a lot though humans being the makers of their own doom essentially I don't know how far you got that I beat the first one he reminds me of the magician dicks from demon souls see man that's what I didn't like about the game is humans being the makers of their own destruction because that's like a plot point in so many stories may I think mayor's trying to get me to play it you know so maybe all right, let's fight this fucker again. Yeah, I need a double dodge, dude. Holy crap. What the fuck? extra copy well yeah but it's relevant to the world now i guess i like fucked up things humans being the makers of their own destruction imagine that couldn't be a real thing right like i just hear about it all the time yeah but if you're telling me it's game of the year over elden ring that tells me i should give it a second shake because I, I mean i never even played the second one plus i could use my ps5 could use some more love Yeah, I definitely need to get another dodge. Because my dodge is it doesn't go far enough to get out of the way of some of these attacks. When are you going to play Warframe? I don't know, dude. I have so many other games to play. Maybe when Warframe goes full crossplay and we can play together. Okay, so I can increase my potion. Okay, so this is like my Estus Flask, but I can alter the way it works. I can go from 3 to 4, 150 recovered to 200, increase ingredient slots. Let's do that. Oh, wait, how do I put more ingredients in it? Craft potion. Mint, potion ingredient. It has disinfectant, antibacterial, Insect repellent, refreshing, and fatigue relieving effects. Energy recovery 31. Okay. So if I do this, use some of my energy, and then pop a potion, I get energy back. That's pretty cool. Is something going on in Warframe right now, Grendel?
There's always stuff going on in Warframe. Nothing major at the moment, though. Gotcha. You're asking when am I going to stream Warframe? Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Is this a ladder? That is a ladder. Okay, so the circus began as a way to entertain the villagers until the circus got weird. They started calling themselves the Twilight Circus. Please give your animals to the circus for reasons. You come over here. I'm not going over there. Can't open from this side. I'm leveling up some of the newer syndicates and playing night wave missions. Night wave is uh, basically like a battle pass that's always active, right? I think it's always been there when I've booted up the game. You need key to the maker's secret room. Oh shit. No fall damage confirmed. We entered the sea of fools under the guise of helping the research team speed up their progress, but we are actually here to investigate the strange activities of the Twilight Circus. You think the game's worth it, Mullet? It's on sale for 23. I, it's hard to say so far, man. Um, it's, it's so far, it's all about the combat, and the combat is good. And like any good action game, it starts off slow and you, you've got skill trees, you power yourself up, you get more abilities. Like see, I can hit this guy with a feather to pull him out here. And I combo him up, hit him with my claw, do a finisher. Okay, there is a stinky zit around here somewhere creating that gas. Okay, that was the ladder I saw earlier. That way was limited. They shut it down and started up later with new prizes. I thought you said new pizza, and I got really excited. You mother... shit bothers you if clipping bothers you that seems to be a little prevalent do finisher become fuses with merchant booth yes the mouse and keyboard controls are like perfectly fine though which is nice But you cannot hear these enemies, man. Like, they barely make any noise. I don't know if you guys can even hear them. Like, that lady, when she got up, she was like, Burr. and, like, that's it. That's the only noise that told me she was around. That guy, I didn't even see him. Okay, she made a noise and summoned others let me put it this way Falcom this feels like a $20 game 
in a good way. And I'm lost. Sort of. Can I jump into your sphere? Definitely almost died there. I like some jankiness. I played through both the Alex games. Oh, you're probably gonna be right at home here. I've never played those, but I have seen Vidya, and oh my god. chair over there and I'm out of potions and I'm at almost half health lady charge attack yet, but I feel like I'm gonna get one. Well, I can kind of charge this. Mayor, this place so far is not as awful as the Valley of Defilement or Blight Town. Even though it looks like it should be. I was gonna fall there. I think I have to fall there. Did I miss anything running around over here? Oh shit! Oh hey dude! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. No, because you don't have fucking weirdos with Gene Simmons tongue shoving you off the edge. Oh my god. Are those the, uh... Are those the, the, the... Not the enemies that shoot you with the poison blow dart, but the ones that look just like them and they're just like... Sauntering over to you and push you around? This game is, uh... It's definitely trying some cheap souls bullshit. Oh shit, escape! Oh. 
Most of the work inside the tent is just moving various buckets around. Sometimes I can feel the things inside of them still moving. They have like pokey sticks and then there, there's like this huge versions of them that are a pain in the ass too. Are those in the valley or are those in Blight Town? Those are in the Valley of Defilement, aren't they? Ooh, let's do the Halberd. So I have like spirit weapons basically. That's what my green energy bar at the bottom is for. Demon souls in the valley to find me. Yep, I know who you're talking about now. Oh my god, there's one right across that skinny fucking bridge where those little fuckers that give you toxin are. The rats? Holy shit. <laughs> my fave photos I got from Demon Souls in the arc section because I don't know where else to post it if that's fine. Absolutely, that's fine. Hey, they're screenshots. They're photographs, basically. Art. Works for me. Okay, buddy. You bitch. I don't think there's alternate weapons in this game, though. Not like primary weapons, but there's alternate plague weapons, which are the big green glowy ones I swing around. Like this. Wow, I fucked you up. I don't think I went down this ladder last time. You know, game photography is not something I've really fucked around with until Ghost of Tsushima. I should do that more when I get back to Demon Souls. I'm so excited to learn more about Lies of P. Dude. Yes. It looks like the Bloodborne 2 we've all been asking for. I have so many photos from Ghost of Tsushima. Um, can you share those in the Discord? How do you send those to yourself? Please do. My favorite thing about the Ghost of Tsushima one was just being able to edit the environment and the wind and the time of day. Grendel, did you ever play Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, dude, I'm gonna have to get the PlayStation app. I had it for a while. Maybe that was on my last phone because I don't have it anymore. I'm gonna do that, Mayor. You what? Oh, Grendel, dude. If you want to borrow it from me, I have it on PS4. If you want, when you bring uh, Returnal to me, I can um, give you that. Ah! I fucked that up. So 
I can push people off ledges when they're dead. You need to finish. I never finished Ghost of Tsushima. That's true. I actually cheated that one for a while. Yeah, that'd be cool. You got it, man. You're you're putting the beef into YouTube, eh? Yeah, you have a crew you work with now. Awesome. This game is violent. I haven't used any potions yet, though, since I died. Shit, he fell and I didn't have to kill him first. Oh, he was healing, motherfucker. Oh no, I think the big guy's behind me. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's the big guy. Fucking shit. Platinum goes to Sushim is so good you cried. Oh my god, what? The one guy owned his production company has been giving me tips. I'm rebranding my channel and I'm gonna load up on videos before I make it public. Is Nemesis in this game? Maybe Tyrant? Nemesis is not. Grendel, I'm sorry to say it, but I actually got rid of the Nemesis stars command in favor of exclamation mark alive, which is a sound clip from our local near and dear Hauser. Or as we've been calling him lately, Hauserford. I'm alive like that what the fuck I can't open this I can't even interact with it what the fuck game yes Hauser does stream he goes under the name Sanford and Sonius uh, somebody might be able to link it for me here I don't know if he's live right now. All right, Falcom. I'm now cemented my opinion. This game is fun. Okay, here's a chair. I can take a take a short break. I can link you his channel, Grendel.
Here you go. And ladies and gentlemen, I need to go swap my laundry over, so I will be right back. Alert! We have spam! Mare's been spamming the art channel! Let's take a look at these, shall we? Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me! Sorry. You don't like random loud sound effects when you're watching Twitch streams? What the hell? <clears throat> Here. Let's check these out. That is the Storm Ruler sword when you were fighting the big Manta Ray. That's pretty sweet. This reminds me of Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones. Nice, Grendel. That's the Maiden in Black in front of the Great Old One, which is from Bloodborne. I almost choked on my Sour Patch Kid. Oh, are you saying I almost killed you? Maybe you should never eat Sour Patch Kids. That's going into the Great Old One. Ghost of Tsushima. Dude, you could take a still out of these and really like draw them into something crazy cool.
I think I hear Kaya drinking water downstairs. Is this from a cutscene or is this gameplay of her just like sitting down? These are these are sweet, Mare. That's that's the photo mode in Horizon. Nice. You can position her any way you want. Oh, that's that's awesome. You can change like her pose. Ghost of Tsushima could have benefited from that. But I can... Oh, I can level up the axe? Oh, you can level up your plague weapons. You can change your face and alter zooms in time of day. That's awesome. That should be like a PlayStation standard feature in their exclusives. Okay, I need that second dodge. Let's do the short dodge. Bleeding effect. That looks fucking awesome. I need to blow my nose. Be right back. Okay. Dude, I blew my nose yesterday and I had like half a pound of boogers come out. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah, I know where that goes. Is this an elevator? Well, that was one hell of an elevator animation, my goodness. Who are we at? The boss? We totally are. Well, this guy looks fucking cool. Ultimate. When a red light appears before an enemy attack, they will perform an ultimate that cannot be deflected, dodged, or interrupted. Instead, Corvus must avoid the ultimate attack's range. <laughs> oh, this is the ringmaster of the toilet fucking shit. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Is he gonna do his ultimate? <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? So tired of being congested, holy shit. How are you feeling, by the way? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you're feeling not much different the last few days, but I'm gonna keep asking you until you're better. He's a Garman wannabe? Oh, this guy's cool. He's a, he's a circus ringmaster. I'm gonna die. potions <laughs> I 
Oh, he's got a bunch of green. Did I beat him? Nope. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, good. Better than yesterday. That makes me feel good. <laughs> I am so fucking dead. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, oh shit. No hit run time. Okay, so he's got a phase two. That's good. Hold on. Is there more around here to explore? Oh, there's not. Okay. I guess we're fighting him. Until I beat him. Like, I could leave this memory, but I don't know if that means I have to do the whole level again. Come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you could see he had another phase by his health bar. There were two small diamonds to the right. Ooh. Fuck. I didn't, I did not notice those. <laughs> I'm just confused on like what direction I should be dodging in. Like dodging to his side is not getting out of the way of his attacks. What's up, Axie? How are you, man? What the fuck, dude? I beat phase one on my first try. You just played some Mortuary Assistant. I've seen a couple people on Steam going ham on that game. Uh, can you tell me about it? I, no, Mayor, I don't think there's iframes. That's what's fucking me up here. Can I, oh, maybe I need to parry him. Okay, I kind of parried him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn, like, he swivels around me, and then the orientation in which I have to dodge is different. You end up learning to embalm folks and check records and such, but it's a horror game, so some shit goes down pretty quick. It's pretty creepy. Had me on edge. Nice. Where are my memories? No! Fucking move! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm doing the parry wrong. Like, maybe I have to press F on every single attack. Yeah, this guy is a circus ringleader, Axie, and he's kind of a fucking asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? 
game. Can I parry your foot, sir? is it's really hard to tell when you're hitting an enemy if your attack is going to poise break them or if it's not going to poise break them and so i have to be paying super duper fucking close attention to their animations yeah this guy's fast and he hits hard i saw another streamer struggling to fight this boss but i only watched like two attempts because they don't want to be spoiled <laughs> And like, okay, so if I get hit, I'm stun locked, I can't parry. The combat has been pretty tight, but not against this guy. I mean, I, I think I still suck. So I'm trying to throw myself at him until I say the game is bad. But we're only one level in so far, Axie. Barely uh, 90 minutes. Okay, lock on. Grab the souls. Dodge away. My parry window is so small. Okay, see, I have two dodges. Fucking camera. I have two dodges, but when I dodge one attack, he might follow up with a second or a third attack, and then the direction I dodge in is relative to me being locked on to him. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not being patient enough. It's just like a souls game i have memories which are my souls they drop whenever i die thankfully getting back to this guy is like a not even a 10 second jog here see like what the fuck man i only have two dodges <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
fuck? I'm thinking for the tier one, dude. Okay, so when the boss has like a green glow on their attack, I'm supposed to hit them with a with a feather dagger thing, and that's supposed to interrupt them. And it did not interrupt him, so maybe the timing is really, really tight. What's up, Abaddon? How are you? <laughs> Can I parry after two dodges? Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> okay, that didn't fucking work. <laughs> this guy is such a fucking asshole. I just parried his foot. playing uh look at the look at the game title bro <laughs> it's called thymesia all right i'm dead now oh fuck it oh no what the fuck man <laughs> Yeah, this is the first real boss. Jesus Christ, dude. Am I under leveled? It's on Steam right now for like 23 bucks, I think. again dude it's for real mayor this is he's a fucker and he's a knower uh i don't know if this is out on playstation uh i mean it's worth a check i guess all right i'm gonna give this guy like a handful of more tries and if i can't beat him we're just gonna go to another stage because yeah <laughs> Fuck, 
man. If you parry the first attack of his two-hit combo, it doesn't parry the second. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. My parry is back-to-back. Okay, maybe that's what I gotta do. I gotta learn how to go parry parry. Oh my god, fucking Elden Ring bosses though. Half them can go to hell. Fuck your foot. Attack right there, I gotta learn how to double parry. <laughs> you motherfucking. <laughs> okay, I parried it. There we go. It was almost phase one with two health bars, two health potions. Godfrey the Grafted. He was fun to fight. He was pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I can parry his kick and I can bury his cane slash. Parry his cane slash. his life almost So much for fucking parrying that. Dude, god damn it. And he has a fucking phase three. You're right, Mayor. Both those diamonds are health bars. This is gonna be a grind. Get phase one down to a T. Then phase two.
God, fuck you, man. You can't parry or dodge right after you're hit. Yeah, a very Dark Souls vibes, Abaddon. Bit of Sekiro going on here, though. Gotta learn the timing on that. I think I'm just gonna stand in front of him and parry until I get it. Do you see his health though? If I parry the shit out of him, his health just melts. I'm in it now, chat. Now I can't walk away. That's the best 
one yet. Gosh, man. All right, we're going to give it one more go. And then we'll go somewhere else. Or maybe I need to look at my abilities. Maybe I can parry more. Can I widen the parry window? fucking game. Falcom, don't buy this. We're going to lower the damage we deal with him on a parry. But we're going to increase our deflect timing window is what I believe I just did. just walks up to her smacks her in the face till she moves and takes her spot what a little dickhead were they uh, are they siblings mayor did they grow up together <laughs> fuck dude all right i don't care anymore i want to go somewhere else I'm going to fight this guy later. Wait, do I even have that option? 
you will lose all unsaved progress and return to the Philosopher's Stone. Well, I am hit the beacons. That's saving, right? I adopted them from the pound who said they found them in a gutter less than a... Oh my god, that's so sad. You're a good human being, Mayor. Okay, I still have my upgrades. Uh -huh. What? Little Red Riding Hood. Now they're fatties with a treat addiction. Yeah, but that not that what all we want all of our pets to be is uh, nice and floofy and, and loved at home? Man, are you fucking kidding me? I have to beat that guy? Oof. All right, we're gonna grind it out for a little bit then. Jesus. <sighs> Thanks, Abaddon. Oh, sweet. The shortcuts are still open. But I want to kill regular guys. They got a farm. Okay, lady, Jesus. Please, you earn the right to call me my name, Corey. I'm sorry, Abaddon. Do you have another account named Corey, or is that a different Corey that hangs out in here? That is your other account? You mean my followers are a lie? You mean some of them are the same person with different accounts? What the fuck? It's only two accounts. I know, man. Dude, some of these fences are made of nothing. Didn't you have the multiple lamps? You can't choose what lamp you want to teleport to, or am I crazy? I don't think so. I went back to the map, and the map just had the sea of trees. I mean, we can check it again. Let me just uh, let me just farm for one upgrade, and we'll check it one more time. Because I would love to go to a different level. Fuck this place. I'm confusion. Oh, you mean you mean the beacons? 
nightmare, the chairs that I've been resting at? Did I go up this? Oh! Uh, I don't know. Let me sit at one and see if I can teleport between them. Because maybe at the very least I can I can fast travel within a level. There's another fucking note. Oh no, I mean I don't know if I can, but I'm trying to farm right now. So I don't want to teleport straight to the boss. Okay, here's a chair. Do you fight this guy again? Oh my god, I can fight this guy again. What's he gonna give me? this time 684 dude he's worth farming okay so here's the chair I have another talent to unlock Now I'm stronger. Okay. All I can do is resume, cease the memory, fuck with my potions. Oh, I can have different effects. No, 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 Mare. There's more stats off to the side. I'll go back to it in a second. Oregano. All right, so if I go back to level up, if I level up my strength, the stats increase over here. I don't think they just go up by one, but I can't, I can't flick it up or down one because I don't have the memory shards to do it right now. Can I fight him again? Oh, come on. I know, but when you hit strength, that only brought it from 28 to 29. Oh. Well, shit, maybe the scaling is just really shortened in this game as opposed to other RPGs. And as far as I can tell, if anyone was curious, armor seems to have nothing to do with this game. What do I need? 1400 for another level up? I'm gonna look on how long to beat. What? Is that a website? And all it does is tell you how long it takes to beat a game. tell me. I'm fine knowing that. 
if you don't mind. Can I not open this door? It doesn't even say locked on the other side. This guy's way tougher without that fucking spear. I carry counter. Oh, 15 hours for the entire thing? That's not bad. I mean, dude, for a $20 action uh, combat focused game, 15 hours to do it all? That's pretty good to me. Wait, why you can't buy it? Because you know how long it is? Yeah, right? Do you beat the boss in one attempt or 50? Need longer games? Bro, it's a double A indie title. It's only 23 bucks. The Last of Us is a triple A fucking game with like 500 people that work on it. This game was made by seven people. A bad and you want quality over quantity in a game, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you rather play an amazing game for 10 hours than a mediocre game for 30? You just gotta get the fuck out of there, uh, mailman. If you if you even smell that someone's playing with a shotgun, fucking run. Falcom. Oh, I got almost 3,000 now. Well, this seems like a good place to farm. I have not played The Last of Us 2 yet, and one of the reasons not is because I keep hearing from everybody as it was way too long. And when you're not enjoying a game and you find out it's long, you're like, fuck, dude. That can, that can backfire. All right, we made it back to the boss. <laughs> oh my God, you're right, Mayor. It only goes up by one, but the amount of wounds goes up by two. Vitality goes up by not a lot. Get vitality up, man. We almost have enough for another level up, too.
Let's equip the knife, see what this does. It's also a really heavy game. I replayed purely for the Platinum Trophy, but I probably would never play it again because of how sad it is. Yeah, I've kind of spoiled all of Last of Us 2 for myself, and I know it's a really fucked up game. I believe you. I know what happens in it. Oh, I can parry your stupid pike. Beautiful. Oh, the big guy's still dead. Lame. I wanted those extra points on him. So certain enemies come back when you rest, others do not. Let's level up our vitality again, and then I will try the boss. People were so upset about it too, like refunding the game and sending death threats to the developers. Another situation of people not understanding that not everyone is safe in a post-apocalyptic world. Yup. Oh, but the way they died was bullshit. They would never let that happen. Whatever, man. Especially when a character like that one has been known to make plenty of enemies in the past. Yes! Yes! Share it, pants. What's up? Ooh. News, 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 news. claw better.
Yep, I like the other claw better. About a month or two ago, my kids got to come to the lab and experience this. My oldest son is now going to be the face of the lab. What? What do you mean? took photos of the kids who did the test run and they selected him because of how genuine it was. They're gonna pay him, right? Do nothing for free, child. It's the state, so no. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Maybe he has a career in modeling. Progress though. Phase one down, halfway through phase two. Could I post this photo they plan on using? Yeah, go for it. I don't care. Uh, right? Yeah. His uh, his his sidekicks are definitely annoying me. The timing's very weird. It's like there are times I just can't parry. Reset my levels. No. <laughs> it 
If he gets me in that, I'm dead. I... Yeah, I really like being able to respec your points in Elden Ring. More games need to give you that option. Fuck, dude. I had his phase one that I did one run like three tries ago where phase one was like that. But there's this one three hit combo he gets me in and if I'm in it, I'm not getting out. I can't dodge, I can't parry. in there. three gonna be like Maybe I can power through it. The trick so far seems to be don't get hit in phase one. Keep all your health for phase two. It's just that one weird three hit combo that's really aggravating right now. But I got this.
fuck off, man. I almost wish the enemies had like a poise meter in Sekiro that you could break. This bro, thanks man. Third party to duo in a solo. Clip a dude twice, he pushed me, I poisoned both of him and rotated, forcing back to the prison. And the poison it, killing him, I go back to the compound, talk to his partner, he gives me the bounty the solo had, and we go our separate ways as he picks up his friend who who I constantly need to give me enough time to leave and extract. Nice, dude! You're, so you're solo duoing right now, mailman? That's a big ball. That's a big ball move. <laughs> Okay, that's a five hit combo right there. Yeah, he has the diamond mare. Phases? Oh, wait, wait. What were you trying to say, Mayor? That two diamonds is just like his total phases? I'm sorry. No, that what? So he had two diamonds on his first bar and one diamond on his second bar. So does that mean, does that mean the, the, the adjacent diamond is current stage? Oh, I get it, mailman. No, there seems to be something I cannot recall. Oh, that's me saying no, I want to stay in this memory. Gotcha. I got you, Mayor. See, I assumed each diamond was a whole other bar. But you're big brain, unlike me. Fucking finally, fuck that guy. Odur's Vile Core. As the ringmaster of the circus, Odur had received large amounts of pure blood. Blood. Yet why is there vile blood on his body? 
Hmm, this does not look right. I think you need to head back to the Sea of Fools and gather more information. Can you guys hear the music right now? I'm turning it way up. Dude, Mayor, is this Bloodborne or what? Can I go back to sleep? I cannot. Oh, there's subquests! So I can go to the Royal Garden or I can do subquests in. Oh, yeah, let's fucking go back and do the quests, man! Oh, shit, it's 920. I don't have much longer. That's why, that's why I always ask, can I go back to sleep? Oh my god, dude. Every time I get up for work, can I go back to sleep? More HP, less dying, please. Okay, now I want that fucking, uh... Boom, the step and jump. You still haven't eaten all day? Oh, use Forgotten Feather. We'll reset Corvus's level and attributes. No. Good to know that you can do that, though. Oh, are you guys stronger? weird looking Shit! I had a singular glass of water and a cup of tea. Mayor, how do you go all day without eating? Isn't your stomach like, oh my god! Aren't you hungry? Yes, um, oh my god, she's played by Daryl Hannah. Pris? It was Pris? 
Hey, I don't remember her name. Oh, what's the fucking other guy's name? What's the what's the main bad guy played by Rutger Hauer? I can't remember his name either. Fuck. Yeah, Roy and Pris were pretty awesome. I so wanted Roy to live. Are you trapped in there, sir? You had a majorly unhealthy girl crush on Joy. Well, fuck yeah, who didn't? That actress is sheesh. <laughs> I like your description. We're gonna save our alchemies to increase the regular potion, I think. No, I have not. I've never really seen Jenna Marbles videos. I don't think. Uh, didn't she recently quit YouTube like a year ago or something? What do you mean it killed your playthrough, Corey? Mayor, if you want, you can link me that video. I'll check it out. You quit Elden Ring because you fucked up your strength build? But you can respec, man. Now here's a question. Can I get potions back after killing so many enemies like in Elden Ring? Uh, can I fight the other one, please? I think I'm fighting my way back to the start of the level. Oh, I never used any of the memory collections either. Okay, fucker.
Well, level three of the gold crush tier is I would make a scissor sandwich with you, and that's the crush I have on Joy. Damn. I see that. Yeah, dude, when Joy got crushed, that was a bad moment. What the fuck is that guy? Yeah, I'm not fighting you up there. That hit me? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why didn't uh, his uh, wounds go away? Do, do you see this? Oh, come on. Did they not go away because I had to kill the gas? <sighs> Corvus, move your fat ass. Green Mayor. It's one of my favorite sci-fi movies ever. Like, no competition. Corvus, don't jump off the edge! Like, the plot is just so fucking good. It pulls you along, and if you're a big brain moviegoer, like, you think you have the plot figured out, and it's like, uh-uh. <clears throat> and I love, love, love the fight scene at the end between Joe and um, what's her face the lady the evil lady replicant whose name escapes me right now nice mare what it's over No! What the fuck? Can you show it to me, Mayor? Can you put it in the Discord? Ah, dude, I miss art books, too. I have a couple laying around. I, I don't know if you've ever played the Lords of Shadow Castlevania games, but I have um, an art book for the second one that is incredible. Okay, where the fuck is my beacon to get out of here? There's not a beacon at the end of the level?
Oh, wait. Where'd you come from? Okay, cool. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good place to end it. Uh, I've been playing for almost three hours. And I guess, I guess we've done 1.1 levels. One main level and one side quest. I really dig the combat in this game. And I want to get into some more crazy boss fights where you need to, like, do uh, dash counters and stuff like that. But we're not quite there yet. So, uh, let's see if there's somebody online we can raid. Wow, Twitch is not functioning right now. Captain Squiggles is playing Hunt Showdown. Let's go raid him. Perfect time too, because my food just got here, so I'm going to eat with Susan, but I'll post pics of the steelbook. Alrighty, take it easy, Mayor. I'll send you a text. You hop on your bike and head off confidently. Uh, Captain Squiggles. Alright. Have a good night, everybody. May give you a false sense of confidence. Before you know it. You've been pulled over. These little uh, powdery things. Stretch.